the Indianapolis 500 is all about numbers. Did you know there are 33 cars in the starting field at the 500? Or that over 700 different drivers have raced in the 500 through the years? One lap around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is two and a half miles long, so cars must travel around the track 200 times to complete the 500 miles. Everything comes back to numbers, so let's start with the cars. Each car weighs around 1,500 pounds, is six and a half feet wide, and nearly 17 feet long. Each car is powered by a turbocharged engine that weighs around 250 pounds and creates a whopping 700 horsepower. That's about four times a normal passenger car, and each of the engine's six pistons travel nearly three quarters of a mile up and down every minute. The super speedway tires on an Indy car have a tread that's only three thirty seconds of an inch, about the thickness of a credit card. And when the car is moving at speed, the amount of tire making contact with the track is about one square foot, or roughly the size of a piece of notebook paper. Now let's talk about speed. As we said, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is two and a half miles around. An IndyCar Series car traveling 225 miles an hour will circle the track in exactly 40 seconds. At 39 seconds, that same car is going over 230 miles an hour, and at 41 seconds, the car is traveling 219 miles an hour. So every fraction of a second is important. In fact, the closest finish in history in 1992 was 43 thousandths of a second, and that was after 500 miles. But not all of the numbers are on the racetrack. Let's talk about fans. There are over 250,000 seats at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. On top of that, there are several thousand fans who sit on the grass in the infield. By the time the engines are started, there are more than 300,000 people at the track. On race day, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is the second largest city in Indiana. And all of those people are going to need something to eat. On race day, the Speedway sells enough hot dogs to circle the track three times. That's seven and a half miles of hot dogs. And to wash it down, the track sells thousands of gallons of water. Now that's some picnic. And the most important numbers to any race car driver are the numbers on his prize money check. Takuma Sato earned $12,250 per lap when he won the 2017 Indy 500. Multiply 12,250 by 200 laps, and his total prize earnings were $2.45 million.